Hey everyone, this is Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm trying something new, a new program. Um, not for me, but for tutorials. It's called SolidWorks. Um, I'm sure if you know anything about um, high school engineering or college, then um, you've heard this word before. And um, it's basically the program all the engineers use when they need to design something with precision, uh, make plans with it, or um, it's not really a recreational program, though it is very fun to use. It's um, very expensive and really hard to get a, a copy of just because you need like special licenses and all kinds of stuff. So I'm using this through a um, remote desktop here at uh, my school. Um, so that's how I have it. So it, it might look a little laggy. That's because it's going through all the firewalls and um, I'm not on the computer with SolidWorks it's over the uh, internet. So um, when you open SolidWorks, this is 2009. Um, from what I can tell, 2009 to 2011, almost the same thing. I'm sure there's some new features or whatever, but um, what we're going to be going over and uh, hopefully the, a few tutorials I can make is going to be the basics of it. Uh, so when you open it up you'll get this black screen, nice logo in the back. Um, obviously you have to hit the new button. So if you hit the new button, it comes up with uh, do you want a part, assembly, or drawing. Um, and I will explain as much as I can because I've taken uh, uh, multiple classes on SOLIDWORKS and engineering and that kind of thing. So a part is if you need to design a like it says a single part. Assembly is um, assembling multiple parts and then a, a working drawing is basically uh, plans for that assembly or plans for the part. So uh, we'll just click a part, click OK and now we have this space here and at the top we have features, sketch, evaluate, dim expert, office products. Um, really you don't I'm not going to be really using Evaluate, Dim Expert. I don't like Auto Dimension, and Office Products is just aesthetics. But um, Sketch and Features are the most important things. Sketch is how you make a 2D representation or a 2D drawing of your part, and then Features used to um, make that object 3D, and uh, yeah, things like that. So before you can start, um, drawing anywhere you have to choose a plane you can do it from the front top and right it all depends on um, how you're drawing if you're doing a drawing based on uh, another working drawing or what uh, just choose a plane you want to work with construction plane so I guess we'll just choose a top plane and we'll hit this normal too which means it gives us a nice um, overview of our um, plane here so uh, first, if we want to sketch something, we can go over here to uh, sketch. We'll just do lines. Maybe this and like that. So when you when you first create something, you will get um, you'll get a bunch of black lines, or some of them will blue are blue lines. Uh, basically, that means um, some lines are defined, some lines are not fully defined. When you're making a drawing for your class or for a company or whatever everything needs to be defined because stuff like this can happen and uh, like that it took a long time to load but I can just drag things around uh, there's no dimensions to it so it's, it's not defined the line is not defined fully and to fully define that you need to go to smart dimension and just click on the line it brings up this uh, thing here, and you can modify however uh, big you want it. Let's say two, two height, and we modify this angle here. Yeah, yeah, this is quite laggy. I do apologize. Fifty-five, and this line define it. It's two. Um, Okay, so um, basically now we've run into a problem um, that everything comes yellow 
which means uh, it's overdefined, which means um, you, based on these three dimensions here, um, it, it already forces a dimension for this line right here. And um, so you don't need it. But um, I'm not really sure what we're missing. Probably it just depends on what you can move around. If it's still blue, whatever you can move around, uh, just find out that way uh, what needs to be defined. But um, that was my biggest trouble problem in um, engineering classes. Uh, it would take a long time for me to define in everything because it uh, sometimes it's hard to find out what you need to get defined or what is already defined, stuff like that. But um, so there is our basic sketch there. We hit this button. Right there, it um, exits the sketch. We go over to our features, hit extrude, choose our sketch. We can hit extrude, and there we go. Here's our part. As you can see, very laggy, and I apologize again. But um, uh, you can do a few types of extrudes. I'm just going to go over the very basic extrude, which is boss. Base. Um, you can go to different um, planes if you have another plane back here that you've offset it, or a point back here that you need to um, run into. And then you can choose uh, what direction you want. You can do mid plane, which is uh, equally both directions. So if you go like this. Okay, there you go, finally loaded. So, you can change it like that, and then you hit OK, and it will have extruded, like like so. There we go, we have our 3D shape. Um, pretty easy to use, and it's very accurate. So, um, that's all I'm willing to go over for the basics. It's a bit lagging really badly. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the beginning tutorial. I'm going to try to make more if I can, but um, yeah, thanks for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something. <laughs>